For me, it brought up a question of purpose and meaning. Like, what is this life? What are we waking to, and why at all? And just a reminder, I think I talked about this, about probably it was a week or two later, my niece who lives up in Vacaville, she's 17 years old, actually my niece and my almost 13-year-old nephew, um, they were in a play about the Holocaust. And there was a line in the play, it was about children who, um, Jewish children who were rounded up in and around Prague, and they were taken to a, um, basically a school, which was like a holding center for the children. And I think this part of it was actual historical fact, although the characters in the, in the play probably weren't. And one by one, or in groups, the children would be taken from the school to the concentration camps. And the kids seemed to know that most all of the people who ended up in these concentration camps were gonna die. <clears throat> And in the, in the play, there was a line with one of the kids saying to the, the main character, who was my niece, she said, the kid said, if you know you're going to die, what's the point of living? I don't know if it was exactly that, or what is the meaning of life? Why bother? And, you know, as a Zen master, I should know the answer to that question. But I think the experience of Peter's death, and there have been a number of other deaths, and just even the craziness of our world these days, um, that question, to say that the, the death wakes us up, is a good teaching. But I think for me it was grabbing this question which doesn't really have an answer. But knowing, knowing of our own death, how does that affect our lives? You've also, many of you have heard me say this, back when I was in college, I was reading the uh, Carlos Castaneda books, The Teachings of Don Juan. And one of those teachings that really struck me and has been a guide in my life was his teaching of using death as an advisor. And that teaching was the way he, uh, the way the book put it, who knows who said it, that death hovers over your left shoulder. And it's always there. And just to be reminded of the immediacy of this moment. So, wake up is a nice phrase. I think more to the point, it's to remember the incredible preciousness of this very moment. This one. 